Hey everybody, welcome to KM Reviews. I am Middleman. Today I'm doing an unboxing and kind of reboxing with an awesome insert for Kemet Blood and Sand, which I just got the all in pledge for when I'm back to Yucatan. Um, there will be another video which you can click the link to uh, in the description for all the Yucatan stuff. Yucatan, Yucatan, whatever. Um, there's also a bunch of timestamps on here, so if you just want to see the insert or just want to see the unboxing, uh, feel free to click through. But here we go. All right, so as far as the unboxing goes, we do have this playmat, which I'll show after everything is all set up. But this is what came with the Yucatan um, Kemet kind of all-in stuff. So this particular video, I'm just going to be going over the Kemet all-in. Um, I took off the plastic initially just to save a little bit of time. But I got everything for Kemet, including this awesome pre-made kind of wooden insert, which I'll show you when I do the kind of uh, reboxing, I guess. So... I got sleeves here. We got the Kemet sleeves. Not really any need to open that. Um, I'll show you those once they're in the insert. We have a Game Up box, the Book of the Dead box. But we're going to start with the Kemet Blood and Sand box. So I have not actually opened this other than the plastic yet. Um, one nice thing is I love when they put the artwork on the middle, like on the inside of the box cover. When you play the game, you know, you can kind of set it there, whatever. It's better than just nothing. Um, so we have a bit of a mess here off on the top. A bunch of little, I'm guessing, promos and stuff. We have a few extra tiles here that will be going in. I'm assuming they're not all like this. I think these are all like expansion stuff or something. I don't know. There's a couple extra red. It looks like a couple extra, three extra red, two green, a blue, so on and so forth. Um, we have some of these game up boxes. Does anyone use these? I'm not going to be using those. Then we have our player aids, which none of these are in English. How many we got here? We got one, Two, three, four, five, um, maybe on the back, let's see. Nope, none of these are English. That's low. Uh, well, I'm hoping there's some English ones in here somewhere. Another game of box. Uh, then we have, I think every, oh, okay. So this is all the non-English stuff. Below this, we have the English stuff. I got worried there for a second. Okay, cool. So we have one, two, three, four, five player aids. And these are nice because they tell you what every single tile does. You basically have your own little brochure here. It shows all the red, blue, white, black, etc. does green. Um, what the Divine Intervention cards do, so on and so forth. So everybody will get one of those. That's very nice. Then we have the English rule book. It, this is, this particular one is, I don't know if you can see the light right there. It's very um, kind of bent up, folded something. That kind of sucks, but as long as all the rules are here, right? Uh, I won't go over all this, but we have the rule book. Well, at this point, it's all bent up. All right, then we got a bunch of punch out stuff, which I'm not gonna punch it out right now. You'll see it in the overview when it's done. But we have a scoreboard in this thing. Now, the player mat also has a scoreboard on it, um, which I'll, so I probably won't even use this one, but we have this, uh oh, some tokens and stuff. Looks like we got the white tiles. We've got some red and blue. We've got Another thing that'll cover up part of the map, some player color stuff, some scoring markers, pyramid things, blue and black. Then my favorite part of this, because I had the original Kemet, it was always kind of a pain to set up. Here we have all of 
these player trays. There's one, two, three, four, five to cover all five colors, which is great. Then we have the dual layered player boards. One, two, three, four, five. Looks like this one's upside down, but they all have the same artwork on the back. We got the indentations on all of these and these pyramids down here. Everything else is flat. Um, but we have green, blue, yellow, my favorite, red, and black. So that's all those. Then inside here, let's see if we can see that. We have a bunch of other trays. We have this box here, which will hold stuff. Although, to be honest, I'm probably just going to toss this because my insert will hold everything, but they have a nice little box for that. We have a box full of baggies of minis. Here we have the 3D obelisk uh, tokens. So these are pretty cool. Put those on the map, stand out a little bit more because sometimes you can like, kind of forget where they are. Where was that? I don't know. I like the Lux Safari stuff, what can I say? We have the, uh, so I think some people were worried that the game up stuff wasn't coming, but it's actually just in a box, right? So we have things like the bowl. I don't know if you can see that. The bowl. And the, this is a cool one, I think. The giant sandworm. So we got that. I love that one. I'm not gonna show you every mini, but that was some of the expansion stuff. And then we got this bag full of all a bunch of the other monsters, so on and so forth. I like the brown over the gray. I really do like that. Okay, then we have some Divine Intervention cards. And I haven't played Blood and Sand yet, so I'm not sure what the black droplet is, but I'm sure I'll find out. We have all of these player bags, which, to be honest, I'm probably not going to keep these either, even though they're, they seem nice on first glance. Ooh, and they do have a very nice, a very nice texture. Now, normally, you would put all your player color pieces in each of these bags, and I like how they each have, um, like, Horus and, I don't know how to pronounce that, Eldritch. Looks like we have this one. We've got Anubis. Four. Five. I think you'd put some of the monster ones in there and in this one. And in this one. So you have all five player colors and bags for minis. Again, I'm probably not going to use these, but I'm saving these bags for something because those are nice. Okay. Then we have the red pieces. We've got yellow, blue, green, grayish black. Boom. We have a bunch more. It looks like a ram, a bunch of gold tokens, silver tokens, and some other dudes. I'm not sure what those are exactly. Some more guys. All the different pieces to these big pyramids, along with the little player colors. Lots and lots of baggies. These pyramids on first glance look like a big pain in the butt over just those dice you can change like in the original Kemet. However, when you see the, how the insert works, I think it organizes it in a really nice way. Some more divine intervention cards and some of the actual battle cards. Okay, and that's everything in the core box. I, oh, no, it's not. This, uh, I'm actually going to be taking out permanently because my other stuff's going on there. But underneath, we have the actual game board, which for me, I'm probably going to keep because I feel weird throwing away an entire game board, but I'm probably not going to use it either. I'm a big playmat guy. So um, I'm, what I'm probably going to do is compare the size of this to the playmat. And sorry if you hear my kids in the background, they're life of a parent, right? Um, I'm going to compare this to the size of the playmat, I may keep this for like smaller tables and stuff. But if it turns out to kind of equal out to the same size, I, I might toss it. 
Ah, a no blast for me. Whoa. Then, oh, it looks like we just have a piece of art, which I believe, yeah, this is the same as the cover of the box, but smaller. I don't know, maybe they just had these laying around and I throw those in there, I don't know. But that's everything from the core box. Next, let's go with this little game up box. This is the great old ones, I believe. Yes. So this has a couple more green tiles there. This is all about the Cthulhu and everything. So I love this mini. We have this little tiny one. It's one of the guys you can recruit, but this one is so cool. I think it is really cool. Cthulhu. Raw. Such a cool mini. All right, then lastly, we have Kemet Book of the Dead. Again, some cool artwork in there. Probably won't keep this box though. A little tiny rule book. Some more minis and the stuff for the green pyramids. This is gonna take a while to organize. Some more plastic bags, which I'll probably save for another game. And let's see here. We have the green tiles themselves. This one already kind of popped out, but we have the additional player board that you use if you use the green tiles, as well as the well, pyramid tokens. So that is that. Now, time to toss some of this stuff and then let's get this insert put together and I'll kind of show you what it looks like all reboxed and packaged up and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's all out on the game board. Okay, so now I have it all packaged up in that nice insert. Let's take a look. So right on top we have the rule book and the player aids and the tiny rule book. We have our two little boards here for scoring and for the green tiles. We have our storm tiles. We have our game board, which I'm probably going to be using the mat that's back over there anyways. But now we get into the crux of the insert. Right on top here we have all of our um, power tiles. And those I just used the base insert stuff because I actually really like how these set up super easy. Then we have all of this, okay? So let's go kind of one by one here. Over on the right, we have all the silver tokens, gold tokens, and these things. Then we have all of our scoring stuff. All the little scoring tiles there. We have all of our player boards off to the right here. Got all those. Um, right in here we have all the different monsters. The way I did this is essentially every color had its own box. I used the expansion tiles to put in there so I know what color those monsters are. So I have the black expansion tiles and all of the black monsters. We got the white expansion tiles and all the white monsters. And then we got blue and we got red. And then green has the biggest with Cthulhu, their little expansions and alternate tiles. So we have all those. We have our obelisks and underneath there, I just have some extra sleeves, but got all our 3D obelisks there. We've got these little minis, uh, the two different sculpts on each side. Over here, we have all of our, um, all of these cards, as well as the alternate tiles there. Ah, I'm dropping everything. Um, I will say with it being sleeved, this portion here is a bit tight, but it will actually, they'll all come off of this. This is just for storing purposes. Um, but just to point it out, they do technically all fit in there. Um, but now my favorite part, oh my God, I love this. Here we have our uh, starting DI card that everybody has. You have all your minis in here. You have all your discs, all your different tiles. And as you saw, because I just tilted it, 
we have this little slot here that has all of our starting cards, which I have sleeved and they fit right in there. Boom. And then if we look over here, we actually have all of the different um, pyramid tops along with the uh, coordinated uh, things that are actually go on your player boards. And we have all the pyramid pieces, all three for all three, along with your little statue piece. And we have this for every player color, okay? So let's put this all back. Oops, let's turn this around. Burr, 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 burr. So we got all those. Okay, and then we have our cards here, which go in the back corner. We got these guys right there. Got our obelisks right there. Green monsters. Boom. And these are all the same sized box. So we'll get all these in here. Okay, we're gonna shove all these in there. Do, do, do. Ah. Boom. And uh, boom. Those all slide in nicely. Then we have our player boards, and this is so well designed that once you put the player boards in here, right here, it's all flush. That way, when you put this stuff on here, it's not like tilted weird or anything. It just sits there nice. These all fit in perfectly. Then we have all our power tiles, which fit right over here. And at this point, if I wasn't using the game board, I could put the other stuff on here and I'd actually have some pretty good extra room. But just for the sake of this, we got this here, and that'll also kind of hold some of these tokens and stuff down. Um, we can put these little storm boards in here. This part is kind of just however you want to do it. I like things to be kind of flat. So, there we go. We have Tenet. So, now let's see what this all looks like set up on the table with the playmat. Okay, so here's what it looks like all set up with the playmat, which is way bigger than the normal board. We have blue, white, and red. We got our little score tracker here. I just put random tokens out there to kind of show you. Put some of the stuff that's needed, the cards. We have our green player board and green area, red stuff, and black stuff. We have our 3D obelisks which actually, for me, I really like these. You don't have to search around like, where are those again? But yeah, this is with the playmat. Oh, and the, the only issue with the playmat, I think, is that these storm tiles are a little bit tinier because they're really designed to fit perfectly on the board. Um, but I really don't think it's that big of a deal. It covers up what it needs to. Um, and I didn't set this up properly. I just kind of put some random stuff out there just to kind of give you an idea of what it all looks like with this insert. I think it keeps things really organized. You know, you can set your pyramids up really quickly, have your guys, your tokens clean up faster. This insert just really makes things nice.